Hello everyone, my name is Ivan Skoldy and today we are going to do a quick follow-up video for creating a real clock in Godot Engine. Now in the original video, I used some math. I know, scary. <laughs> now, in that math, we concluded that in order for us to get a radian in seconds, we got the current second and multiplied it with pi divided by 30. And somehow that gave us the angle in radian that we needed to set the correct angle for our pointer. So how did I do that? How did I figure out this number? That's what I'm going to show you. I know that for a second pointer to move all 360 degrees around the clock, it would have to move 60 seconds. Knowing that 360 degrees in a radian value would be 2 pi, I concluded that I could set 60 seconds to be equal to 2 pi. Because if I wanted if I wanted the value of 60 seconds, I wanted this to turn into a 2 pi radian. However, what I want to know is the magic number I would have to multiply each second with to get the current angle. And that is done by simply multiplying both sides by 60. Because my goal is to find out what one second is in radian, which is on the right side here. Now, 60 divided by 60 is just 1. That leaves us with 1 second is equal to 2 pi divided by 60. However, in my code, I simplified this even further. I turned this into pi divided by 30. And that is because 2 divided by 60 is the same as 1 divided by 30. And 1 divided by 30 multiplied with pi is just pi. Knowing that for each one second we get this much angle, we just multiply this value with the current second, thus giving us the angle in radian. Now this is exactly the same for minutes, except you have a minute here. So we have pi divided by 30 for minutes as well. So what about hours? Well, it's the same thing. We know for an hour to move all 360 degrees around the clock, it will have to move 12, 12 hours. And we know that 360 degrees is the same as 2 pi in radian value. So we divide both sides by 12, so we, so we can figure out what 1 hour would be in radian value. That leaves us with 1 hour is equal to 2 pi divided by 12. And then I simplified it again, which made this into a pi divided by 6. And that's how we got our key values. If this video was helpful to you, please hit the like button. If you haven't already, please subscribe. And I hope to see you in a future video. Bye-bye.